Thank you, Pastor. Good evening, Church. Um, it's a great uh, opportunity for me to stand in this pulpit. Um, it takes me years to take the courage to in front uh, to stay, uh, to, uh, to speak in front. Bear with me. Um, one day. I was walking and I looked at a clear um, window and my eyes caught my attention with certain thing that goes this way. When you start learning, you start dying. And I see the face of the, the famous physicist Albert Einstein and I know a little bit of Albert Einstein he believes in God of pantheism and I said well I do not want to die because if I don't uh, if I start stop learning then I start, I start dying. Uh, at night when I went back home, I, I was thinking about that. I said, if I go back learning again, with my age, it would be hard. But let me start of, in my own definition of learning, is the acquisition of knowledge uh, uh, or skills through study. By experience or being thought. It, where will I start again? Being a professing Christian, I said I should better go back in learning the truth about God. And I better concentrate in learning the words of truth, which is the scripture. In my um, journey of knowing who really God is, it takes a lot of reading. My memory has its own lapses now, but I cannot forget what I learned about the gospel. I learned my own experience in my journey of getting more and communicating more and showing my love to the greatest creator, a creator who is God, the creator of heavens and the earth. And to be honest, I did not really concentrate on reading on the, the Old Testament because there is so much genealogy. And in my heart, it's what is really all about the gospel. And because of the, the scriptures, God can really read me. He exposed me who I am. I do not deny that my Lord and my Savior died for me. And I would like to quote the gospel that, that I know in, uh, in 1 Corinthians 15, chapter 15. Verse 1 to 4. And this is um, the Apostle Paul talking um, giving the formal letter or epistle to the uh, church in Corinth. And I call, Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preach unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if you keep 
in memory what I preach unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the Scriptures. What a great God God. Now, uh, in John 3.16, that for God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him shall have everlasting life. It uh, really caught my attention, verse 3 of, the chapter, of chapter 15, and he said, for I delivered unto you, first of all, which I also received. How? And what? How? That Christ died for his saints, according to the scriptures. How would I know if I don't study the scriptures? And if you study the scriptures, you would learn. And God is talking to me. And how? Galatians 3, 1, 3 answered that. <clears throat> In Galatians 3, 1, 3 it says, Christ has redeemed us from the course of the law. He made a course of us, for it is written, first, cursed, is everyone that hangeth on a tree. And not only that, um, there is another, another verse in, uh, in 2 Corinthians uh, 5.21, if you bear with me. In 2 Corinthians it says, For he hath made him to be seen for us, who knew no sin that we might made righteous of God in him. Meaning to say, God imputed all, even all to his son, the sins who you and me has committed. And what kind of father is that? He punished his son. He went to be hung on a tree on our sins. How can we find that, that love? That love is the greatest of all. In my life, I would testify. I should not be saying I always, but what I learned in this life is that nothing such a value if you don't value the source. And the source of everything in this life is God. And like uh, pastor is always saying, and I learned from that, that we cannot do anything without Jesus Christ. If we are searching away, going into heaven, or going to be saved, there is no other way but Jesus Christ. Maybe I'm a little bit uh, emotional, but I'm just saying what I feel in my heart. Or even it says the heart is the most deceitful part, but my heart doesn't deceive me because I feel God. God is love, so I end up to that. And he gave his son to us, but I believe that whoever among us, like a true Christian, Jesus is the only way. And I truly believe that God cannot lie. 
that whoever who calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Thank you very much. Amen.